we live, man. We going in. We not waiting on nobody. We just getting some stuff out, and I may have to just stop it early. For those that watch the replay, if you hear it, if it just cuts off, it's not because uh, um, there was a glitch in the matrix because I had to cut it off because I was going somewhere. Because um, I'm a... Uh, what's up, Mr. Wilson? Good to see you on the stream, sir. I'm um, I'm perplexed, man. I, I am... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, man, um, God, I, I am at a loss for words, although I do have something to say, I'm just searching on the, I'm searching for the right way to say it, you know, like I, I, I growing up, there was a term that we use, M-O-B, you know, money over B's, money over B-S, you know what I'm saying, M-O-E, money over everything, and, uh, what's going on, King Leader? And um, now that I'm an adult and really starting to uh, remove the ignorance of my childhood about money and about this monetary system and about the Federal Reserve System and the way our uh, government governs and, and, and prints money and literally enslaves the people, you know, it was quoted, John D. Rockefeller was quoted as saying, uh, I want a nation of workers, not a nation of thinkers. And then I posted this on my Facebook a few days ago. Well, no, last night, yeah, because I'm up all hours of the night because you can't sleep when, when your life is changing right before your eyes. It's hard to sleep because you said yes to a system that literally is about keeping your money. And I, that, that's, that's what it is. I don't understand how my people see the deception that's played out on a national level and come back to the, the their family, the people that they know and love. What's going on, Mr. McKay, man? Lo loving the streams that you've been putting out and the training you've been doing uh, this for 2019, man. You are in the pocket, sir. Uh, it is, uh, it, 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 I don't understand how when your family, friends, and people you know come to you with a system that only requires you to keep your money. Well, let me not say that it has no requirements at all because you can just say no and do nothing but to, to, to engage in a system to be set free from the system of debt. Our activity is to keep our money, to keep, to keep our currency. That's right, because we don't, we don't know what money is. So our activity is to keep the currency. Good afternoon, Mr. Mia. Uh, looking forward to seeing you, man. Let's go weekend. Um, and here in Atlanta coming from the UK, um, our activity is to keep our money. And, you know, you get the, you, to hear the phrase that, you know, it looks like a scam or like how, how is keeping your money a scam? If I asked you to give me all your money and then I'm going to invest it for you and I'm going to put it in, I'm going to diversify it and put it in. Oh, yes, sir. Well, yeah, we'll see you in Dubai <laughs> getting a rad money. Um, thanks for correcting me on that. But when uh, Dylan uh, said, man, why not see me in Dubai first? So, yeah. Dubai. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, how is, you know, if I ask you to, here, give me your money and I'm going to pool it together with all these other people and then we're going to put it in these investments and diversify it and protect it and I'm going to get paid a fee from helping you guys grow your money and save your money. How is that not a scam? And every seven to 10 years, you, you're going to lose 50% of it. Or, you know, with the ebbs and flows of the market, it could go up and down. You know, I can't guarantee you anything. But here in what we do, we literally guarantee that you will not lose. You will not lose $1. Why? Because you are exchanging it for real money gold. And gold has a 5,000-year track record. If you don't believe me, do the research. Not the Google. Do the research. Allow Google to be a research tool, but don't allow Google to be a one-stop click and, oh, that's the, um, the truth that I'm going to believe. So now here in Care Bars International, we have the opportunity to really put that childhood term, my childhood, I don't know what era you grew up in, of money over everything else into play. That literally everything that we do, everything that we love, all of our time is spent 
God, and it's spent. We spend our time chasing money, chasing paper, what we were told were money by the elite, by the people that put this system into place, that put the public school system into place to create a nation of workers and not critical thinkers. Because if you, if you critically thought, number one, you would listen to yourself. So when you say something, you would question, okay, where did that come from? Because I had to question myself. I remember when I was shared this plan of Care Bars International and Pay Yourself First. It took me 15 months just to connect to the information. And that's good, Mr. Mia. Yes, we need to learn to attract wealth. First, we need to learn to uh, accept that we are worthy of wealth that we are worthy of having more than enough, that we are worthy of having more than we currently have. And the reason that we don't have more than we currently have because we're not willing to learn and grow. Yeah, we're willing to put in all the hours possible. I mean, imagine this, I have a, a an acquaintance that just bought a house and his first thought about that, about paying for that house was, I'm gonna have to work as many hours as possible now. So you just bought a house to spend no time at the house, to spend all your time at work paying for the house? I understand you want to provide a roof for your family, but when we say we'll do whatever it takes, do whatever it takes and learn about money. Learn the history of this monetary system so that what? So that you can win at this game. Yes, it is a game, and if you want to win, you got to learn how it's being played. It's not being played clocking in and out of a job. That is to provide you your first part of your money system, and that is cash flow. So when you go to your job and you have your cash flow, you must convert that cash into an asset. What's up, Angel? Good to see you on the stream, young lady. I uh, love all the work that you and your uh, boo are doing, um, teaching and raising up young folks to properly uh, court, properly date, get to know each other first before moving on to adult things. Back to this money system. So your job is to get you a get you the first part of your money system and that is cash flow. But then that cash flow has to be controlled and that's what school has taught us. It has taught it has not it didn't teach us anything. It has conditioned us not to be able to stop the cash flow. We have been conditioned to be consumers, to be spenders. That's how the economy grows. Get out there and buy some more stuff. And I'm going to show you this here what I keep on my wall at work. That is the rat race. Happiness is just around the corner. Work harder. Happiness is just around the corner. Buy more things. Earn more money. Keep going. It never stops. The rat race never stops until you stop and until you learn a new skill. And that new skill is how to properly control cash flow. He who controls cash flow will be wealthy. He who knows how to take the cash flow from their income, whatever source that is, and put it into an asset and allow that asset to build. What's going on, Mr. F uh, Mr. Child Bay, Mr. Five and Five? Allow that asset to build and bring in more income. So now when you want to buy something, you're not looking from your cash flow source to buy it. You're looking to raise up your, your income producing assets to buy that for you. So you're buying out of your surplus, not out of your, um, out of your lack, not living off of debt but living off of the surplus of what you're getting, not stopping the cash flow at I get it and then I go exchange it for goods and services. You know what I'm saying? Or I could just pay my bills, you know, a job, just our bills, just over broke. We got to stop that flow. So when you say, when I say keep your money, when I present you a system that says the way we make money is by keeping money. Every time I hear that, yeah, man, you hear you hear coaching here with me. He's ready to chime in, man. He he, he 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 stopped he stopped by and we were talking. I just I just went live. He was like, "Bro, you I'm about to get out. Well, I'm going live. <laughs> I got to get some stuff off my chest because uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's ignorance. That's not a derogatory term. I am ignorant of some things, and the things that I'm ignorant of, if you have information that could help alleviate my ignorance. It would behoove me to come and listen, to bow the knee, and to listen to your knowledge in that area. Well, I have knowledge in this area. Why? Because I've exposed myself to it. 
I've exposed myself to the hidden secrets of money. I've, I've exposed myself to the, mind, the uh, secrets to the millionaire mindset. I've exposed myself to rich dad, poor dad. I've exposed myself to people who have won at the game of money and I take their pointers and I apply them to what I do. And then what I was gonna get at earlier was that with this network marketing business, I always thought it was beneath me until I connected to it and saw exactly what it was. It was business for the people, by the people that helps create our own money system and our own money cycle. And with this being February and Black History Month, I look at Madam CJ Walker. She didn't become a millionaire because her product was the best product on the market. She, she, she came, became a millionaire in a time where a black woman would not get distribution in white markets, in white uh, drug stores. So how did she get distribution? By word of mouth. So here we are bigging up our history and wanting to, you know, remember our history. What's going on, uh, Kiyoshi, the uh, gold mechanic, Taylor, Taylor, bam, in the building, bam, stays in the building. <laughs> but that, that woman developed a product and decided to reward the people that would connect with her and distributing that product to the people that needed it. Here we are now. Mr. Harold Seitz has said, I got to get gold to the masses of honest people around the world, the middle class, which is being erased. Soon it is, you are going to be able to see the difference of poor and wealthy. There is no middle. There's up and down, left and right, in and out. There is no middle. To stand in the middle is to stand in the place of God. None of us can do that. We can stand with him so we can see both sides. But the only way to do that is to get rid of your ignorance. You must shine a light in that, in that dark place. Wisdom is hidden. So you have to go find it. It's not just going to come to you. You can't just, oh, I'm going to just believe for wisdom to come to me. No, you have to go seek it out. You have to listen when she is speaking. It says wisdom is speaking in the streets. You have to go and listen when she's speaking. And on this stream, she is speaking. Pay yourself first is not just a moniker or a cute nickname. Pay yourself first is a principle to wealth building. Pay yourself first is a principle to getting out of the rat race. Pay yourself first is the principle to being available that when a when an opportunity comes, you can take advantage of it. How many opportunities have come by your way and you've had to say, ah, oh, man, I, 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 I ain't got it right now? Well, unless you pay yourself first, you will never have it. So that's what I'm here today, man. I am constantly going to be here with a, this is a fork, but a hammer and a chisel, chiseling away at that mental block. That mental block is coming down. We're going to get this information to you. We're going to get this information through to you because you've got it, but your mental block, your wall keeps stopping it. Like uh, my big brother Kevin Thompson says, I need you to raise your antennas and lower your walls so that you can hear what's being said. You know, we we, we, we hear constantly, what's that, Dwayne? I'm, I'm waiting on God. Waiting on God. Uh, God got to tell me uh, uh, to do that. God got to tell me, what's up, son? Demi, it's good to see you, sir, on the stream. Thanks for um, thanks for collaborating with me, bro. Uh, I, I'm waiting on God. Uh, God you know, God got to tell me, man, we can wait on God so much that we miss the move. We miss the call. You know, some of us that's waiting on God, we have books by Dr. Miles Monroe. We've listened to his sermons. We've listened to his prophecies. And one of his dying prophecies was, if you can buy gold, buy it and hold it. Do not sell it. Why would he say that? Why would he say that? What did he know that you don't know? What did he know that you don't know? It's got to be something that he knew that you didn't know. So don't try to understand it. Just do it. Lean not unto your own understanding, but acknowledge him. It's not a good time. You know what? I guess that is a good time. That's um, the universe telling me it's time to end this stream. It is not a scam to tell you to keep your money and to show you how to keep your money in a proper system 
that increases your net worth, increases your financial acumen, and allows you to connect with a team of wealth builders, coach in the building, allows you to connect with a team of wealth builders that some have already crossed that finish line of freedom and they didn't continue on to go get a drink of water and rest. They turned around and they're cheering us on. A great cloud of witness that's saying, come on. This is Donovan Yarbo, Mr. Pay Yourself First. I got to get back to the plantation. I love you all. Bye.